All right, so Twitch just added a really awesome feature to their website, and this is Smart Vertical Video Editing. And again, this is now available in the clip section as of May 16th, 2023. And this is gonna be awesome for us content creators out there. If you're not utilizing software and services like this, especially directly through Twitch, you should be because sharing content is so helpful. It's kind of vital now for content creation. So I'm gonna go through how to do this. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm gonna give some tips and tricks on how to do it and also how to get the most views and save the most time. So here we are in the clip section. We have clips I've created, clips of my channel. You should be familiar with this by now. So when you go to click on a clip, this will pop up to edit and share. You click here and now the vertical section pops up. You In this section, you can pick what part of the video you want to be the bottom part, the bottom half. And then you can also select your webcam. If you don't have a webcam, you can just do a full screen here. And then they also give you the option if you want your channel banner or not. Mine's Blitz5 and Friends. I like this because it's pretty easy. This is kind of self-promotion for Twitch, but that's good. I don't love that it doesn't fill up the entire width of the box. So I'd rather have it off. For me, unfortunately, I have my logo under my webcam. So there's a little bit of a bar here. It doesn't look amazing, but to me, it's not that bad. I feel like when you're doing short content, it doesn't have to be exact or perfect all the time. You just want to have a really short form video out here. For me, vertical videos, especially in the gaming space, should be as quick as possible. And that's one of the downsides of this editor right now, at least from what I can see, is that you can't adjust the length of the video. So when you go to hit next, now you're just going to be able to, it's going to render this and you'll be able to download it, which is cool. And you can also upload it directly to YouTube shorts, which is great. If you don't have a YouTube channel, you definitely should have one. And this is going to make it super easy to just upload this stuff directly to YouTube shorts, which is good and bad. It might flood YouTube shorts with just even more gaming content, which is probably a bad thing, uh, but great for us in the short term, getting that stuff out there, right? And kind of promoting your, your content. But again, most of the time you want to trim this down. So even though it's a 15 second video for me, I wouldn't want this entire video here. And honestly, this isn't even a good enough video to share. I think on the internet, you should really only share your banger clips. In my opinion, uh, the best ones that you have on the internet. Um, but here you could download this. So, so option number one is you can download this on your desktop and then just quickly trim it down. It's already rendered in the right format, which is cool. So you could probably share this in like a seven second video and then upload it to YouTube takes a little bit longer. Or if you click on a clip the old fashioned way, this will pop up and you have the option on the bottom right here to go back to the full video, which you'd have to do to reclip here. Jet ski right now. This is me getting uh, two kills off the jet ski. So you'd wait until the clip is over like that. A little bit longer. Got the guys on the jet ski, then hit clip yourself, which I think my webcam was blocking. Then wait for this to pop up, reclip this in the shortest time possible, right? See like how, how quick can you make this clip? You don't want it to be too quick. You need a little bit of a lead up, right? I don't want to put in that I missed right the now. initial shots. A freaking jet ski right now. A freaking jet ski right now. People might be, what is happening? You could add some subtitles to this, right? But not in this, not in this feature yet, not in the Twitch feature. So jet ski test. And then we want to end right after that. A freaking jet ski right now. Again, this isn't an amazing clip. I mean, it's cool that I got the kills off the jet ski, but I got the guys off the jet ski. All right. Again, this isn't amazing, but let's publish that. This is a much shorter clip, so it should be pretty quick to render. We can go back into the clips that I've created. It should pop up. In a second here, let's refresh. Jet ski test. Eight seconds. My webcam was a little smaller here, so I have to adjust. Again, doesn't really kill me here if it's not perfect. I feel like that looks pretty good. Even if it clips a little bit of your webcam, it's fine. And now you have a much better product to me that you could share onto YouTube or to TikTok, Twitter, your preferred platforms. However, again, be mindful. Don't flood the internet with your content. Not that I'm a professional in this space, uh, but for, I found that that's usually the best way to go about it. And try to pick your best clips 
so that uh, when people know that a clip pops up of yours, that they're going to get something really good, right? If you just put up every clip that happens, a lot of times people will slowly stop to click on your content because they know it might, they're not sure what they're going to get. So um, obviously that's up to interpretation, but hopefully this helps. Make sure you guys are utilizing this if you're streaming on Twitch. And as always, thank you all for watching. I'm Blitz5 and peace out.